Hi guys, Hamish here. Um, today is Wednesday the 21st. Um, I'm getting my gear all jacked up, ready to go on a surf casting mission tomorrow um, with a work colleague and friend Jamie. So me and Jamie are going to hit them um, early and we're leaving from Palmas North heading up to Turakina, which is just south of uh, Wanganui. We're going to go off the beach there, spend all day surf casting. Uh, really for a bit of well-being, I guess. It's good to get away from everything and just chill. You know, catching fish is a bonus. I'll show you my two setups I'm taking anyway. So, as you can see, guys, on the, the table here, this is my surf casting setups. So I've got a 13-foot rod here, a Kilwell Magnum. Um, Kilwell Magnum uh, three-piece. This thing is um, 10 to 15 kilos line weight, and she is a um, beauty of a rod. I've had it 10 years. Um, caught a lot of fish this, so as you can see my setup there is uh, two dropper rigs with disco clips, so you can see globe white disco clips there on both hooks, on the two hook rig there, and the sinker at the end, so um, sand grab sinker, so sand grab sinker, two hooks, two disco clips, 13 foot rod, um, yeah perfect piece of equipment. Now I'm taking my son's 10 footer, so on the 10 foot rod here, I've just got a um, Sinker attached because I just uh, was doing some practice. Last time it's been used was in lockdown. I did some surf casting practice for it, so it's got no hooks. I'm going to chop this off, and I'll show you the setup that I'm doing with that um, in a minute. But at the moment, I'll show you the gear I'm taking. So I've got soft bait jig heads here, and the glow bite, um, obviously glow bite, and the glow bite um, soft baits, uh, imitation flounders. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to rig that up on a surf caster. I've got a spare pack of lights in case the um, the light we lose our gear for any particular reason. Uh, got some sinkers, got the icky pick which I use on the kayak as well. Uh, we will be using it's brand new, um, but I'll take this tomorrow to icky the fish if we get anything. And obviously I've got the uh, the tie down elastic there for the uh, pilchers to stay on the hook. I've got a range of different hooks, some swivels, plenty of sinkers, and uh, and a knife of course for cutting the bait. So and taking some uh, 60 pound. Uh, yeah, 60 pounds or mono. So that's still going to be my leader on this rig. So there you go. That's the um, bit of the bit of the um, gear that I'm taking. So I'll uh, come back to you in a minute with a setup on this and show you how how it's going to work. Awesome. See you soon. Hi guys, back again. Um, I've rigged up the 10 foot surf caster um, with the Globite uh, soft bait jig head and the Globite dragster, the imitation flounder soft bait. So I'm going to show you how I've done that and. Um, we're going to put them to the test tomorrow, I'm going to put them to the test tomorrow and I'll get back to you hopefully with something on them. It obviously depends if the fish are there but um, yeah, definitely a different way, so it's just showing you a different way of rigging up. So as I saw before, showed you, the 13 footer's got those lights on it. Those disco clips, you just put bait on those, and away you go, just like any normal surf casting type thing you would. This is the 10 footer, so 10 footer set up here. So what happens is I've got it here and I've got a sinker, so I put a swivel on the main line tied that sinker back on um, and then it's got the uh, 60 pound leader so that's 30 pound nylon there mono into the 60 pound mono which is the leader and it's about a meter and a half long it comes down to the globe white jig head which we know has the feature of the flashing light and then the imitation flounder so i've just put that through the nose and on the hook um, so basically the idea is this will be uh, in the ground and i can start um, this has got the weight to get it out there of course when you cast it and then i just simply drag this back, it's going to drag along the sand, puffing up the sand and just behind it's going to be this thing here going like this through the water column as it comes back in flashing light, the water will make that move um, and then uh, yeah if there's any gurnet around um, or snapper they'll go for those um, so yeah we'll see what's out there. Kawai, I don't know if Kawai are going to go for that as much but um, hey if there's something other than Kawai there we'll have a chance um, so yeah basically we're just, uh, the water's starting to warm up, up, up a bit north and um, that's why we're going up by Wanganui. Um, it's still pretty cold down here. So yeah, we'll see. So that's my two setups I'm going to be having for tomorrow. Now throw that out and gently retrieve that while this one just sits out there and waits for the fish to come to it. So there you go, just a different way of setting up a surf caster if you want to get into a bit of soft baiting while you're surf casting. And obviously that's just a, um, this is just a six ounce sinker. There's a non sand drag one. I don't want a sand drag, uh, you know, sand one in there with the wires because when I'm trying to retrieve it it's going to stop it coming back so just a nice normal uh, teardrop sinker so it can come along it'll puff up bits of sand while it's doing that this bit here will be the part behind it 
So hopefully the sand that have been puffed by the sink will bring the attention of the fish. And then I'll come over and then they'll see this thing here coming past right where they saw that sinker was just while it's coming across like this doing all its nice attractants that it's designed to do this, this is um, UV reflectant underwater so it looks quite cool under blue light so yeah let's hope that um, something comes along for that so I'll keep you informed after we've been out tomorrow and uh, see what we catch but there's the setups guys that's my two rods um, wish me luck I'm going out there tomorrow with my mate Jamie and we're going to give it a go to a whole day fish are there, they're there, it's a bonus, if they're not, they're not, but um, definitely going to try this different sort of a setup and uh, hopefully, hopefully have some success on it for you. Cheers.